Hello, this is Freddy Goats. I'm Freddy. I'm Goat. Today we're making Choco Chip, which is a chocolate chip cookie. And we have to start with the bottom. So how do we start? The cookie butt, uh, which starts, we're starting with a magic ring as with all, basically all the omnis that we make. <laughs> And then we, I think, make six single crochets into it. And that's the last narration you're gonna get from me. <laughs> you also have the pattern available for free. Go and look at our site. Free patterns. Email us if you have any questions. Send us a message through Instagram. And we will try to solve an answer. Yeah. All your questions. Yeah. Uh, you know we record these drinking. <laughs> so I obviously started with sake and gin. And ask me how that's go going for me. <laughs> I think it's well, becoming clear how it's going. <laughs> <laughs> The mix is. Mm. Is it so? So what gin is it? Is it from that store that has the Mexican gin? No, no, no. It's a the it's the regular green bottle. Uh huh. Like gin. the Tanqueray or whatever. Uh, yeah, I think so. But it's really hitting me. Why is my speech just going away from me? I I feel like speech is the first thing to go. Um, but <laughs> but also, you have been on a pretty calorie-restricted diet, and that's two hard alcohols in one. So it kind of makes sense that it's hitting you hard. I also haven't drank in so long. You're now a very cheap date. <laughs> okay, so we've made the cookie bottom, which is a six increase every round circle. And now we make the cookie top. We made a special part to explain the bubble stitch. Where is that special part? On our Instagram? No, in here. You just will have to explain it. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and right now we're making a special part in which we explain the bobble. So the chocolate chips are the bobbles, but you're also doing a color change. So the the la so this you single create crochet up until where the pattern tells you to put a bobble, but in that final single crochet before the bobble you change yarn color to your chocolate color. You can see I just did that. And then you start your bobble. The bobble is like a yarn over. You put the hook through the next stitch. You yarn over and pull that through. Then you yarn over and pull it through the first two loops on your hook. And that leaves you with two loops on your hook. And then you repeat that several times. So for, so I, I believe these are I can't remember if they're four step bobbles or five step bobbles, but whatever they are, there's always one extra loop of yarn on your hook for the number of steps in the bobble. And then at the very end, you yarn over again and pull that last yarn through all of the loops on the hook. Except because we're changing colors, we're gonna switch back to that, like the regular cookie dough color in the very last step of the bobble in this pattern. I'm not sure that that was very clear email us if that doesn't make sense what i wanted to do but then was too lazy to do is like make raisins no hell no raisins don't belong in cookies um they don't belong anywhere <laughs> <laughs> a classic pretty good dispute mm, raisins are delicious it doesn't matter what freddy says and if you want to make a racing cheap cookie use black yarn Oh yeah, that would that would kind of work. Um, or even like a dark, dark, deep purpley maroon. But what I was gonna say, sorry, I, I forgot how we got on that subject. But taking it back was, I kind of wanted to make it, you know, where people put like the M&Ms or whatever, and then it's like a rainbow looking cookie. But then I was too lazy to ever do it. But it'd be super easy. You just choose a variety of colors rather than just chocolate color for your bobbles. If we get a hundred comments, Asking for the rainbow cookie, Freddy will do it. 
I mean, yeah, but... I'm sorry, I need you for this. I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> fine. I don't... It's no more work than making a regular cookie. But you're trying to get engagement. But what I would like even better if somebody else would make the rainbow cookie and tag us. That would be cooler. Actually, if you make the cookie, I'll make those credits at the end of the video and we will add a special, a special mentions to the rainbow cookie makers and your name will be there. I love it. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it like those ones where you cannot catch the name. So you have to pause the video to see your name. It's gonna be super fast. Yeah, it'll just be like special thanks to or like wow, you're amazing too. This pattern is simple, it's nice. You can do it in I don't know, depending on your skill in crochet. Between what do you go? Probably like a half hour. Or less, probably, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, if you're super beginner, maybe a little bit more if you're, like, if you've never done bobbles before. Um, but not too much more. Guys, I have to confess I've never done bobbles. Well, you need to get on it. You need to make a cookie. I will. But, but you haven't made our free pattern? You're trying to, we're getting out here trying to, Sling our free pattern to people, and half of Freddy Boat hasn't <laughs> made it yet. That's not a vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I will make it, but with raisins. If, if we get five comments, Goat will make the cookie, and she'll do it with multiple colors. That way, it looks like there are M&Ms in it. No multiple colors. It has to be raisins. Oh, you're gonna do it with raisins? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, five comments. Yes, but we need five comments. Otherwise, I'm not doing sh Five comments, not by you or or the eaters, because that's that's three. I'm gonna start five new Instagram, <laughs> YouTube accounts, <laughs> accounts. Oh, YouTube accounts. Yeah, just, just and keep them a secret for the rest of your life. <laughs> you. you can see that we now have more chocolate chips in our chocolate chip cookie. We are going rich in here. Yeah. When I was a kid, my mom will put only two chocolate sh chips in my cookie. <laughs> per cookie. I didn't put any pecans, not because I don't like pecans in my cookies, but because I don't know how I would crochet it and I was too lazy I don't know to how you will crochet a pecan there. It might be an embroidery thing. Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you tell me how you end the cookie? So, the bottom of the cookie, you complete your circle after your last whatever, single crochet or increase or whatever it is at the end of that circle, that last round. You make a slip stitch and then invisible join the tail of the yarn and then you're gonna uh, like weave in your end however you do that and then um, you make the top of the cookie and then rather than see so, you, so you'll go ahead and do the slip stitch and invisible join but but don't weave in your end and in fact leave a long tail for sewing and then um, use that tail to whip stitch the top of the cookie to the bottom of the cookie and then when you have like Let's say you've worked about three quarters of the way around the edge, just whip stitching both halves together. You'll stuff it lightly, not too much, because you don't want it to poof up too much. Um, and then seal it up. And then usually they're like a little bit, you know, they look, when you're done, they look like when you take your chocolate chip cookies out of the oven. And then, but they haven't kind of quite sunk yet. They're still like a little bit tall. But I usually like to tack them down like two or three little stitches in the cookie dough color at the center of the cookie just to kind of tack them down a little bit. And then they, they're like a little bit more baked cookie height. And then we then that last end of the tail. I mean, end of the yarn. And that is that. Super easy. And you can make a bunch really quickly and they're super cute if you have like a handful of them together. I think. 
So feel free to do it. Top, bottom, bottom, top. Order of operations is irrelevant. Thank you, everyone. Please go to our Instagram, our website, freddygo.com, our Ravelry. One of those three, if you want the pre pattern, the easiest version to use is on Ravelry because that's a PDF. And also, then watch this video, like this video, subscribe to our channel, tell a friend, watch our other videos, subscribe. I don't know. What? Ding the ding a ding bell. Whatever you're supposed to do on the things, then follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. Follow, follow us straight to hell. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and let us know if you make the cookie and show us pictures. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your support, and we will see you in the next one.